Having a child with autism poses a special set of challenges. Our guests this morning know a thing or two about that. They have uh, not one, but three autistic children. When they felt there weren't enough resources available for parents, well, they decided to do something about it. They wrote a book. <laughs> Melissa and Andrew Arefi drove up from Los Angeles just to talk to us here today on Great Day about <laughs> navigating autism, the essential how-to for parents and dealing with this situation. Good morning, thank you for being here. And before I get to your book, I just wanna read this quote off the back, I think is just tremendous, where it says right in the back, repeat after me, it's not my fault that my child has autism, everything will be okay. And, and this book, it seems to be essentially what you promise, uh, a step-by-step -step guide for anybody who is going through this. Can you tell us what led you to write this book and how you went about it? Yeah, um, actually we wrote the book that we looked for. I mean, there's a lot of empowering stories out there on how they triumphed or they overcame obstacles. But when you turn the page to find out how they did it, there wasn't any instructions on how I could do it. Uh -huh. So we looked up every resource in all 50 states and eight jurisdictions and, uh, and actually give parents a step-by-step -step guide on how to ask the questions, because it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Yeah, you, you have to give these people the tools to help you. You were saying even if you tried to Google in a different uh, state, you know, something so, what would be obvious to you, the name was different and it was hard to find the resources in a different state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's sometimes there are just certain things that you just don't think to type into Google or uh, you're, you're it's just I know they're trying to be empowering. Yeah, but it just it's not intuitive. Okay. And, and your book is clear, concise. Yep. You have some terrific uh, charts in here that give step by step. You have some terrific pictures in <laughs> here yeah. as well. Uh, the other thing, too, you have in here that's very important is the phone numbers you need to know. Right? Yes. I mean, th th these are a lot of the things that you think are, are basic, but people would really be scrambling if you're dealing with this very traumatic situation. Yeah. Um, and, and this is a one-stop shop. Absolutely. It, it, we, we wanted to make sure that you, you would be able to pick up the book and then go, okay, I live here. I can now I can call this phone number and mm -hmm. this is what I say because uh, as Melissa was saying it's it's a lot of times it's not what you say it's how you say it you have to be able to communicate in their crazy language because they're going to throw just a list of acronyms at you. Mm -hmm. There's, you yeah, know, it's it, like they start speaking Martian as soon as you get a <laughs> diagnosis. Well, in the book, you are helping uh, to un better understand children with autism, certain signs and things like that, and how, how to help them uh, continue with their life. But what about your advice to parents? I love the way you write. It was, it was like you were sitting right here with me, very casual, understanding, coping. What is your main advice for parents? Um, don't forget to be parents and remember to pay attention to each other and then to also pay attention to your other kids mm -hmm. because um, you, you also have to think about them the other children the other siblings they're caregivers too mm -hmm. and and they need attention they need they need extra focus um, because a lot of your focus is going to be spent mm -hmm. on them and don't feel guilty about needing to go out as parents or do something for yourself I mean because you know, my parents used to go out, and I'm yeah. sure yours did too. Right. And kids, parents of kids with autism, a lot of times feel guilty about needing to be able to do that, but you have to or you're gonna burn out. Right. Yeah, good, good advice. Now, one of the things that you do warn against, you warn parents against success. Be wary of success more than failure. What does that mean? Success can sometimes be so, so hard to deal with just because, and I know that sounds strange, but when you get that little taste of normal, when you get that, that, mm. the, oh my gosh, this is working, and then it goes away. Mm. That, that's the hard thing to deal with, because it will go away, and then you'll feel like you're back to square one. And, but when you look back over the long term, then you really start to see progress. But when you're dealing day to day, uh, and you see that little bit of success, mm -hmm. and then the next day it's gone, it hurts. It's oh. really painful, and you really have to guard against that. But you cannot give up. You have to make up. sure you compare between now and six months ago, not uh -huh. now and yesterday. So keep yeah. track of it all. Well, thank yeah. you so much. Of course, we'd love to delve more into it, mm -hmm. but that's what the book is for. <laughs> yes. yes. And we have lots of information for you. If you'd like to uh, learn more, you can go to our website, kmph.com, click news links on the homepage. 